Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. So a couple of days ago I did a video stating that, uh, actually it was a clip from the Mark Marin podcast uh, where he stated that Trump is a monster and an evil genius. I got some comments like Trump is a moron, he's illiterate, speaks at a third grade level. And I agree with all that stuff. Like, like he's a con, first rate con man, arguably one of the greatest con men ever, uh, but he never got me. He gets like he's able to fool these sort of lower level, uneducated deplorables. So uh, anyway, so I did that video and uh, it also, also also posted a great article from the Atlantic. Atlantic. And I'm just going to read a little bit of this and then I'm going to show you an example of Trump's genius. Right. So let me. Before I read this a little bit, let me just state, like, even recently, Trump just put out a video and he said all the right things, right? Uh, unfortunately, well, let me just say this. He says he speaks out of both sides of his mouth, right? So basically, he's inciting the the this, this uh, insurrectionist riots, riots storming the Capitol, but then he says law and order, right? So he's he's... He's a genius at that, all right? So let me just begin here, and then I'm going to play a little clip, and then I'll talk some more. So uh, the, the article states in the beginning, it says, it may seem counterintuitive uh, to say that Donald Trump is a genius, right? I mean, duh, he, he, he speaks at a third grade level. You know, he sounds like a moron, right? But he, he's a complicated figure. Uh, now, it goes on to say, to be sure, he's definitely narcissistic, deceitful, vindictive, etc. But there are multiple sides to the personality that has sucked in so many people into a vortex of either one of two things, adoration, beyond words adoration, or loathing. Okay, so then it goes on. Now that his term is coming to an end, let's take a look at this. And here it goes. Very, very, uh, the second paragraph, paragraph. By the way, I'll post this in the comment section as well, too. Okay, the article from The Atlantic. He is, to begin with, a genius. A very narrow kind of genius, admittedly, but a genius nonetheless. One element of his brilliance is a gift for echoing the anger and resentments of overlooked Americans, 100%. One can only be awed by the way in which a germaphobic, born into tremendous wealth, who in his private life repeatedly fleeced working and middle-class people and seems to despise the devout who prayed enthusiastically, enthusiastically for him. Uh, and, and, you know, it's and, and all of a sudden, there's this guy who, as it states here, uh, is able to represent himself as their avatar and champion. It, it really is mind-boggling, right? Uh, uh and, 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 and let me go on here for a little bit. It says, it's not just that Trump learned how to use, to use television cameras to his advantage while, say, doing The Apprentice. He also learned, parentheses are may, maybe intuited, intuited, excuse me, the diction, grimaces, japes, chippy belligerence, and malicious wit that millions of Americans have yearned to display on a public stage but could not. That's important. There are many, many people who try to do this who would want to do it, but they're just they're just not capable of it. All right. So this is I'll just read this one more sentence, this last sentence, and then I'll go on. Donald Trump flipped the middle finger at cultural elites, overly sensitive liberals, woke activists, patronizing professors, and condescending atheists, and the deplorables loved it. Okay. I'll put the rest of the article in the comment section, but I just want to play something here where Donald Trump actually says all the right things. This is where he's genius. If you want to call it that, I mean, it makes me sick to even say that because he's just such a loathsome figure. But here we are. This is, uh, this is actually from the Young Turks. Let me just play a little bit of this and then I'll talk. Here we go. On the same day that Donald Trump was impeached for the second <laughs> time, this time for inciting an insurrection. Let me just turn the brightness down a little bit here. Uh, here we are. Okay. And continuing. 
direction. He's decided to release a statement via video that addresses the violence in this country, the violence that he himself has incited. Uh, and before we go to his video, I want to remind you all that if you look at um, recent images of the Capitol building, you'll see thousands of National Guard troops uh, laying on the floor. Many of them uh, had to sleep on the floor last night in order to keep the Capitol safe. And one of our members, Texton, uh, wrote in and said this. I slept on hangar floors, warehouse floors, under trucks, in mud, sand, ice, all over the world when I was in the Marine Corps. Sorry. I can't imagine how surreal it would be to wake up and open your eyes to the ceiling of the Capitol. Those soldiers will never forget this day. With that said, let's hear what Donald Trump has to say about the very violence in the country that he himself This is what I'm incited. talking about. I want to be very clear. I unequivocally condemn the violence that we saw last week. And yet he incited it. Violence and vandalism have absolutely no place in our country. See what I mean? And no place in our movement. Making America great again has always been about defending the rule but of law. But he didn't say that a month ago. Supporting the men and women of law enforcement and upholding our nation's most sacred traditions and values. Mob violence goes against everything I believe in. But then you'd say it. Say what I mean? Both sides for. of his mouth. No true supporter of mine could ever endorse political violence. This nonsense. No true supporter of mine could ever disrespect law enforcement or our great American flag. No true supporter of mine could ever threaten or harass their fellow Americans. If you do any of these things, you are not supporting our movement. You're attacking it. Then how many people get It's all country. bullshit. We cannot tolerate it. He's so repulsive. So while I think it's important for him to condemn uh, the violence unequivocally, uh, I do want to just point out that making America great again was never about the rule of law. That's right. It was right. always about white supremacy. Donald That's Trump right. has engaged in criminality while... Serving this country, serving is a weird way of putting it, but uh, while sitting in the White House as uh, the commander in chief. Uh, so it's just absolutely ludicrous for him to say something like that. Mm -hmm. And to say that, uh, you know, MAGA is all about supporting law enforcement, you know, just not the law enforcement uh, that died on the day that the Capitol riot happened by these insurrectionists, uh, not supportive of the uh, police officers we saw in uh, videos where they're being like, uh, just, you know, uh, suffocated nearly to death uh, by these rioters who are pushing them up against a corner. I mean, it's just, anyway, but again, uh, I guess I would prefer to not hear from Trump at all. I'm just going to be honest on the with same you guys. Way. Uh, I, but I if just, we have to hear from him, if he feels only the need to release any kind of statement, in the very least, uh, he needs to condemn violence. I don't know how effective it's going to be with, um, you know, these MAGA chuds, but I, I wanted to get your thoughts, John. <laughs> to the chuds, um, but not to that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, his description of the movement is obviously incredibly false, but That's whatever. Uh, the statement itself was perfectly fine. And right. It would be great if he had delivered it, let's say, June. Well, that's 15, what I just said. You know, like if two weeks into his movement, when some of the initial crazies were like, yeah, I agree, Mexicans are rapists, maybe then. If he had begun to push back and had done that consistently, it would really matter. In, as far as what he can do now, that that's fine. That's good. How effective it's going to be, I, I doubt very much. Because um, remember, like we were talking about earlier, they don't really like believe things. They just believe whatever is convenient. And when he put out his video, you know, close to a week ago, uh, it very quickly started to spread that it wasn't really him. It was a deep fake. It was a faked thing by the deep state to try to just turn more off his insanity. movement. I'm sure many people will respond the same way to this. Or they'll, you know, get that there is like sort of a wink wink. Even though I didn't see it in that, they will believe, well, of course he has to say that. He's trying not to get impeached. Anyway, the interpretation is no longer directly on him. He's baked it in over the last couple of years. My question for you would be, is he saying this? To not be convicted? Oh, I just got a news. Is he saying thing, this yeah. to be able to get back onto Twitter? I honestly think that it's more likely to be the latter than yep. the former. Out of those two? Yeah. Yeah. Look, Donald Trump has absolutely no interest in doing the right thing 
just to do the right thing. Right. Like every time he's done something that appears to be the right thing, it's motivated by his own self-interest. Exactly. So, um, you know, you bring up the social media um, angle. He has been banned from um, pretty every, pretty much every major social media uh, platform, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube was the latest. Um, and so he hates it. And he did mention that in his speech. I actually wasn't planning on going to that video um, during this conversation, but um, I'll give you guys some time to get I'll to that video. A little bit of this um, so Twitter hear thing. what he has to say, but I want to also be clear about something. Donald Trump deserved to be banned from these platforms. Right. I am not someone who's in favor of censorship, but he has used these platforms, particularly Twitter, uh, in order to incite the violence that exactly. we've seen in this country over the last four years. Yep. He should have condemned the violence after Charlottesville. That's he right. Should have Condemn the violence after the Caesar Sayoc uh, story. 2016, uh, right? Condemn the violence, Instead, but he never he did. Uh, he Remember the show? Some very fine people, the neo Nazis. He even says complimentary things. Some of them are fine people. There you are, right, very Come fine on, people. Come on, guys. We all know the truth about it. But here he is, whining and crying about social media because that's all he seems to care about. Watch this. I also want to say a few words about the unprecedented assault. Listen how he reads like a speech. moron. We have seen in recent days. Have we seen it? These are tense and difficult times. These the are difficult to times. Cancel and blacklist our fellow citizens. Our fellow citizens. What and a they are fucking dangerous. moron. What is needed now is for us to listen to one another. How can they understand that? One another. I mean, All of I mean, I understand it's deplorables, but people who are educated, listen to the cadence. Is, above the rancor. And find common Love ground it. and shared purpose. Shared purpose. <laughs> There are days like today where I have a lot of difficulty not cursing on this show. He can F off. That's right. A hundred percent. You, who's a, a member Listen to of this. our federal government, Donald Trump, tried to censor members of Congress from simply certifying the electoral right. college votes or simply sharing what their uh, true opinions are about his, uh, you know, uh, his rhetoric in office, his behavior in office. He threatens people. You know, one of the stories today was how he, uh, you know, the lead up to the Capitol uh, riots, he had uh, talked to Mike Pence, who was intent on certifying the electoral college votes for Joe Biden. And he was like, you know, you can either be remembered as a patriot or, you know, a P word. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't think you can say that, actually. I can't. Right. What no, I'm going to do, I'm going to put wanna, the rest of this video and that article in the comment section. So, like, 13 minutes in. So, okay. Uh, I'll be doing more on this. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk.